In this video, we will learn how to move from GDP MP to NNP FC, that is our national income. See, in the first video, we have already understood that there are three methods of calculating the GDP of an economy. And those three methods are expenditure method, income method and product method. When you add these four components in the expenditure method, you will get the GDP MP of the economy okay and again if you do the summation of gross value added of all the firms that will also give you the GDP MP and if you add these four factors in income method that is you are adding all the factor payments this is going to give you NDP FC of the NDP FC of the economy okay so from NDP FC again you have to calculate GDP MP if required or you can directly calculate NNP FC that is the national income now understand what these terms actually are G means gross DP is domestic product okay and MP is market price market price okay here N means net, NP is national product and FC is factor cost. Okay, now this is what you need to change and if you understand this half of your problem is already solved. Just three steps you have to follow. We are going to change this DP that is domestic product to national product. How are we going to change that? See, understand. What GDP MP is, first of all? What is GDP? GDP is the total money value, money value of all the final goods and services produced in the domestic economy. That is domestic product, produced in the domestic economy within the domestic territory of a, of a place. Okay? Suppose we are talking about Indian economy. Indian economy okay now when we have to calculate national product from domestic product we have to add factor income earned by domestic factors of production in rest of the world domestic factors of production means Indian residents Indian residents are the domestic factors of production so income earned by domestic factors of production in rest of the world that has to be added to make it the national product now, from the definition, we know that it includes the production of all the firms. This also includes the firms which are not Indian but are working in the domestic territory of India. So, if there are some foreign companies, their income has to be subtracted. So, you have to add the income earned by Indians working in rest of the world and you have to subtract the income paid to the rest of to the factors of production of rest of the world to the foreigners who are working in the domestic economy so you that is going to give you nfia that is net factor income from abroad net means income received minus income paid so when you add net factor income from abroad to the domestic product that is going to give you national product we have changed tp to NP okay now what we are going to do is we are going to change this G to N and whenever we have to change from gross to net we have to subtract depreciation why because depreciation is not a part of anybody's income but GDP includes depreciation so if you subtract depreciation from GNP it will give you NNP now we have also changed G to N now we are very close to national income. National income is NNPFC and we have got NNPMP. Now what is left to change? We have to change market price to factor cost. Now try to understand this with the help of an example. See, suppose you purchase a commodity of 100 rupees from the market. What is the producer of this commodity receiving? The producer will receive say 80 rupees. Okay, and what about the 20 rupees left? 
that 20 is the indirect tax that we are paying to the government and this is the income of government indirect taxes we have to pay when the commodity is is sent to the market as a final product for consumption okay sometimes to help the producers and to keep the price of commodities low government is also granting subsidies to the producer subsidy is a help to the producers in the form of cash in the form of cash okay subsidies are to encourage the producers as well as the consumers how is it going to encourage the producer because government is going to give the subsidies to the producer in the form of cash or tax reduction or some soft loans okay and when the producers are getting that subsidy they will keep the price of the commodity low and when price of the commodity will be low the consumers will also be benefited by it so when we are changing from market price to factor cost we need to deduct net indirect taxes that is indirect tax minus if any subsidies are paid and when you deduct net indirect taxes from market price you get nnp at fc that is your national income so by following these three easy steps you can change from gdp to nnp